Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is a miracle in itself because Sam is home. Sam is home for four days. I'm so excited and that means that today's video is gonna start out shopping. We need to go and get Finn a new blanket because I do not have any blankets that fit his pony sized body. I'm waiting in the car for Sam. As you can see, everything is iced. Even my window, I can't even get it to open. I'm just happy to have him home so he can drive. I need to get the snow tires on my car. There's just so many things I've been waiting to do and he's home and I'm gonna get to do them. And a quick thank you to all of you guys who, whoops. And a quick thank you to all of you guys who subscribe to my channel and watch my first video. I'm excited. I'm gonna make another video this week um, telling my story and it, hopefully it's gonna be a good one. All right, so we did a bunch of shopping. We have not made it to the tax store yet, but now we are at some place we've never taken you on our vlogs, I don't think. And we have a special guest. We got baby Jack with us. Say hi, Jack. Say hi. The smell of this store is so exciting. Hi, handsome. Hi, look, he wants to touch everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi. Happy boy. It's my birthday before Christmas, so we're at the, um, Chocolate factory, the chocolate factory, and I can buy this bottle of box of chocolate cherries, which is my favorite for a dollar forty nine. Is there a cart? Oh yeah, get me a cart. Yes, please. So basically, this is a chocolate factory, and everything is so super cheap. So we got Jesse here from Jesse Marie, and we got Jack from the best family in the world. Yes, you are. Look how happy he is. He's like, yes, let me eat the camera. Oh, yeah, and then there's Nick here. <laughs> All right, so look at $5 for this. All right, so basically, it's $4.99 for a pound. Is this? Oh, look at that. They also have all of these gift packages. Sam's trying to beat me to the sales section. Uh, $9.99 for a five pound box of broken caramels. I'm getting that. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna show you what we bought. Sam bought. Great Canadian from the War 1812. Great Canadian here. Laura Secord. Laura Secord. Do you guys remember what she did in the war? That little hint of maple in it. Oh, wow. So the caramel. Ew. What? Grossest thing I ever ate in my life. Okay, so I bought these two boxes of chocolates. I'll show you what's inside of it. I also bought this container is um, a four assorted flavor of little chocolates like what Sam bought. Probably maple ones in there. No, they're different. Mm. I'm going to use that for Christmas. I also bought dark, dark chocolate almonds. And light chocolate almonds that I'm going to put on the table at Christmas. I bought chocolate cherries for me right now because it's my birthday and I love them. Birthday. Okay, it's not my birthday, but it's my birthday month and why not treat myself for the whole month? Just joking. It was just a whim. I just bought it because I love them. So this is what is in these boxes. Oh. This is the real deal, right Jack? So this is $9.99 and this is what you get. It's, it's so heavy. It's like an entire box of chocolate caramel like it there's so many chocolates in here it's stuff that like didn't make it very well just pieces but so yummy like look at all that chocolate who needs that much chocolate look these people bought a whole box i feel bad videoing them but yeah i just want to make myself feel better that i didn't buy that much but we bought i bought two of these boxes look what nick bought <laughs> when you go when you go to the chocolate factory you you go big or you go home empty-handed but anyway i am gonna uh, use this for christmas i know that my kids will eat a lot of this one box i bought a box so we're gonna eat his box and these boxes are gonna be for christmas what's this mm. it is officially christmas at the store I'm still out shopping with sam but he went to popeyes with nick and jesse and i'm looking for more wool for sophie's blanket the girls and i have really gotten into into knitting but this is this is cool imagine a scarf like that we we are still not home and we're waiting for jesse and nick they've air in a store and i'm out here with jack 
and I'm introducing him for the very first time to his first squishy and he's mesmerized by it. He's like, what the heck is that? He's pinching it. <laughs> it just makes you want to pinch it, doesn't it? Five dollars both ways. Get it, get it. That's great. He's super tired because he's ready for a nap. And he's like, no more squishy, Nana. It is crazy late, you guys. Crazy late and we haven't even done chores yet. What happened today? The thing that happened today was, oh, amazing. Go. They're like YouTubers. Okay, so first of all, what happened today was that... See behind that poop house? Yeah. You know it was right there standing there. I have spent so much of my time and life with my girls and with our horses and with you guys and not as much with the rest of my family. And that breaks my heart because I love them. And today, I spent the day with Nick and Jesse and Jack and it was amazing and I loved it. And... and me too. I wouldn't change it for the world, but it means that we're late and it's cold. And it means that I didn't get very much horse stuff or of us Maybe. living because I was with them doing that. And that's okay. But I'm loving this light. But guys, but today, today, just wait. Today, when we were gone, some crazy stuff did happen. And Sophia just told me that they caught it on video. Gabby videoed it. And I was like, we just wait, just wait. I was like, YouTube kids, they know where it's at. How? So basically, just wait, we'll go talk to Gabby and I'll tell you what happened. Okay, you guys, we're just gonna go clean up the barn and then we'll take you in. Today I got new boots. These are made like, they're men's boots. Believe it or not, I bought men's boots and they're kind of big for me, Get but they're the only boots. ones they had. Get these boots. Those are like fancy boots they though. They have fuzz in them. I know, but they're your- There's icicles. They're your boots that you're supposed to be wearing places, not to the barn. I need to get Sophie a pair. Anyway, these, these ones basically are really warm and waterproof. All right, Gabby, tell us what happened today. Whew, it's cold. Tell us what happened. Oh, I have a video. Uh, okay, I know, you gotta send it to me. So basically, a photo too. Okay, send them to me. So basically, we were gone. Something amazing happened to Willow today, guys. Something amazing happened to Willow? Yeah. What? She came up to us. Oh. She walked up to us and let me pet her. And she followed us inside. Yeah, Willow is not the girl that she was when we got her. So basically, um, I messaged the girls when I knew we were going to be a little bit late. And I said, hey, go down and feed lunch. And they're like, yeah, okay, we'll go feed lunch. And then they did. They went down to feed lunch. And on FaceTime with Kaylee. And they brought Kaylee too because mm -hmm. Kaylee is always on FaceTime. She's always here. Like when I walk in the house, I got to make sure I got clothes on. Or when I walk down the stairs because... Kaylee is always there. Anyway, they all came down, Kaylee in the phone, and Willow was standing out over yeah, there the behind the manure pile. What were you thinking? Were you like, holy cow? No, I'm like, oh, so there's Willow. The first one who saw. Okay, Willow. So what did you say? Gabby, Willow. Gabby, look, Willow. Gabby, look, Willow. Holy cow, it's cold. And then Finn nickered to us, so he saw us. Like, yeah, and then Finn nickered and was like, give me some love. Or how come she's free and I'm not? Half of this is from the, all three of the horses' stalls, and the other half is from the area. You did all the stalls already? Yeah. Oh, you are amazing. Storm and only. When you got to be in a hurry, you got to be. You are in a hurry. Somebody <laughs> took all these out. Where are those from? Oh my God! Did somebody take them off? They no, it was the horses. How did the horses take them off? They're not even on the pole. The fence came off. Where are these? I don't know. Probably they must still be out there. Oh. I'll come and help you. Basically, the girls broke down the back fence. Just broke it down. Obviously, they really and broke then, it down. And for, then they walked on the hill. For it to like completely break except and all the for, pieces to come apart. Except for one, like the top wire is fine. So Stella stayed remember. behind, you guys. Yeah, and Jeff was like, Stella. <laughs> Stella. Jeff was like, the girls can't go on that field. They won't even see the wire. And Stella, Stella stayed in with only one Stella wire. Stella behaves. She's no, and there's then, no pony and then in after her. after when they went out, they walked on that hill a bit. Right there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and I then, see it. And then Gracie came in looking for Storm's Licket. <laughs> yeah, so they just followed so the girls. So Gracie chilled in the barn. Um, Willow went behind the manure pile, but as soon as she saw it, she came walking. Yeah, it's not heartwarming Ooh, though. Yeah, yeah. Like it's heartwarming that Willow's like, oh, there's the people that feed me and then trotted on into no, no, no. them. She walked like, hey, I 
want my friends. <laughs> That's okay. amazing. And I don't know, we had to struggle getting them in the arena. Well, I gotta go help dad. It's for the vlog. It's for the vlog. Okay. Is it already recording? Yeah. There's the fence. Okay. There's Gracie. And there's Will. And Stella stayed in. Put the top fence is on. <laughs> Still I don't know. Hi. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna come to you because I know you'll spook. But Gracie. But Gracie. I have the cutest little photo of them out here, just escaping, and Gracie walked right up to me like, oh, I hear. She went out through here, and they went all the way around on the hill, like through the arena on the hill. Okay. They went all the way out the there. In the barn. So now, uh... Yeah. <laughs> We're so gonna now, bring them back. What do you have to say? Um, they're an escape artist. Uh, no, because Gracie won't go to stall. <laughs> okay. Here, give me the phone. Okay. Here, Gracie. What do you want me to do as well? She should follow. Hopefully. If she doesn't, then we'll uh, grab it. Yeah. No, we'll grab stuff. Yeah. Willow! Come on, Willow! Okay, go in and grab Stella. She won't wander off. Came down to feed them hay, and... Oh, that went down. Came down to feed them hay, and Sophia pointed out that Willow was behind the manure pile. Woo, it's cold. I have on sneakers with the backs of my heels. <coughs> Here comes Willow. Come on, Willow. Come on, Willow. She'll soon know that Stella's leaving. And Gracie. Oh, look, she's like, oh, crap. I gotta come in! We turned the fence off as soon as we saw that the back was open so we could go investigate. I hear pigeons over there. Oh, there she is! Hey, Gracie. We're just gonna lock them inside the arena. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We're gonna put them in the arena and lock up that area. <coughs> Hi, boys! Willow's right there. Oh, there's a hay bale there. That's why. I wonder how that got there. Hi, boys! Come on, pony. Oh, you got it? So they went all the way around through that open door. I closed it because the ponies were free in here. Uh, can you grab that hook over there? Here, I'll do it. You wanna hold her? Oh no, that's gonna be all muddy now. Oh great. Good job, Cammy. Oh so she won't go anywhere. My guess is that Willow pushed off. No. My guess is that Willow pushed Gracie off somewhere, like she made her run away, and Gracie got her leg caught in the fence and just ran. <laughs> hey! Okay, yeah. Let's go, Sophia. Fixing the fence. 
Dad was like, Stella, once Storm and Finn go to the other barn for the winter, Stella can't go out to their field because, and then Stella proved that she could go in here because he was like, the fence won't hold them. And there's only a top thing of fence and she stayed in. They were just bucking and running. Oh, there they go. To any of you guys who think that the kids are too noisy and, and crazy around the horses in the field, someone very smart well, once told me that, can you see if they have water? Someone very smart once told me that noisy owners make less scared horses and quiet owners make spookier horses. And I believe it. Careful. Um, Our oh. horses get crazy when we get crazy. Yeah, and you know what though? Kids make the best socializers for all animals. And even though we get frustrated when we see them being crazy with animals, animals have more tolerance and love and understanding you than need, you think you that they do. You need to be noisy for a horse to be bomb yeah. proof. And then yeah. um, do every single noise yeah. stuff yep. for a horse to be like, oh, what's that? Oh, that's feeling a... Uh, 24 hours in the barn coming on because it's oh, cold no, out here. Yeah, cold. no way, never, never again. again. Yeah, whole stall. Anyway, uh, my hands are frozen and my feet are frozen. Actually, my feet are warm in my new boots. Anyway, my battery is dying. We're gonna head up to the house, edit today's video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, Gubby is hoof picky, and we'll see you guys tomorrow back at it at the Royal Winter Fair. See you guys then. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.